Hi, this is Blue Ridge, and uh, today we're going to show you my unboxing and small review of the Portenzo Moleskin, Moleskin, however you pronounce it, iPad 2 case. Uh, this is just going to be a quick overview. Uh, as you can see, it comes packed in a FedEx second day air shipping packet. And here's my trusty knife, and we're going to go ahead and open this thing. Now I, I pre-ordered early in March and uh, here it is in uh, mid-April and it's uh, finally arriving. Uh, Portenzo uh, started doing pre-orders early in March and uh, I think they got overwhelmed uh, realistically with uh, all the orders. They are a small company um, so you know handmade items do take time but like I said I think they were overwhelmed with all the orders. And uh, that's one of the reasons why everyone's getting their orders late. So I originally ordered the Morocco, actually two Moroccos. And uh, since the Morocco uh, material was uh, delayed, went ahead and emailed and uh, changed over to Levant. And then my wife wanted to go ahead and change her order over to one of the 23 and a halfs since her iPad is white. So that's what I did. And uh, here they are. So as you can see, the uh, detail is there. Each one looks like it's been hand sanded. Um, I mean, I, I really like it. Uh, each one comes with a little serial number tag, which has like a message underneath. Um, I really like the blue interior. Uh, I'm Blue Ridge. I mean, I like blue. Uh, so you can see each one has a thank you message inside on the cardboard, uh, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, each Portenzo case comes with a cleaning cloth, uh, which is kind of cool that it include that. I mean, there's little things that are kind of cool, you know, that they include. Uh, of course, it's Portenzo mark. Now, it also comes with the instruction manual, and you can also download this from their website. I've seen it on there as a PDF. Just shows you how to insert your iPad and remove it, uh, and gives you a little bit of story. So uh, that's pretty good. So now, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you how it looks without an iPad in there. Oh yeah, here's the back of that uh, sticker, uh, or the, the uh, zero number tag, so you can see what I'm talking about. And uh, when I open my wife's, it's got a different message on there, so I'm not sure if each one's different. But uh, when I review my wife's uh, 23 and a half, I'll also show the message on hers, so you can see. Of course, here's the sticker, uh, Pretenzo. Now my wife's didn't come with a sticker and I emailed Darren and within an hour I got an email back saying he'll ship me one in the uh, mail so that's kinda cool um, they are trying to uh, answer emails as soon as they can now I'm just gonna go through a quick overview of uh, how it looks with out the iPad in there and uh, here's a close-up and you can see how the sound port is chambered and has a little rubber piece that goes behind the iPad Of course here's the uh, docking port cut out and it's sanded pretty good. And uh, the Potenzo uses a little bit of different uh, corner material. And uh, we'll cover that when I do another review after I've had it for a while. Um, and I'm just showing you right here how the corners are folded. And how the uh, book paper on the inside looks. Again, like that blue looks pretty cool. Um, the Potenzo is a little bit thinner than my Octavo. And uh, I also review and cover that in my uh, comparison video uh, here's the uh, camera hole cut out and it has a little rubber grommet inserted there and uh, here's how it looks from the side and uh, like I said I, I like how it looks I mean the original Portenzo was uh, bamboo and I liked how that looked but I kinda like how the uh, birch plywood looks so here's a close-up of the camera cut out on the back and it's nice and clean and it has a rubber grommet between it to keep dust out so here's how it looks closed of course on the back it has a pretenzo stamped in there which isn't highly visible but it still looks pretty cool on there uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and put my iPad 2 inside the pretenzo case and uh, it goes in very easily I'm gonna do it with one hand here um, all you do is just insert it as I'm doing here 
and then you're just going to press the bottom two corners and that's all it's going to take to uh, insert the iPad 2 inside the Pretenzo case. Now here's a close-up with the uh, iPad inserted. Now the iPad sits just a little bit below the top surface of the wood and I think that's designed that way because with the Pretenzo case it's routed to follow the contour of the back of the iPad. So it fits perfectly in there. Here's the Pretenzo sticker on the inside. I'm going to show you real quickly how the iPad is in there. Like I said, it's just a little bit below the top level of the wood. And I can easily access the power button. And here's how it looks when it's closed. I'm just showing you a close-up just so you can see how the iPad looks inside. And like I said, from a distance, these things look just like a book. It'd be hard to distinguish between this and, you know, oh, that's an iPad. There's no way. So now for a sound test, I'm going to show you how it sounds while it's in the case and also show you how easy it is to get to the controls. As you can see, the sound you know, being chambered toward the front is a lot better than just holding the iPad by itself. So now I'm going to show you how it stands horizontally. Um, on this surface, it stands fine. Um, like I said, on a slick surface, I'm not sure it'll stand up by itself. But as you can see right here, it does stand up uh, horizontally in landscape mode. So you could watch a video or what, if you were showing someone something or something like that. So it does work. So now I'm going to show you that it is a smart case as well. Uh, it has a magnet embedded in the front of the case. So when you close it, it will make your iPad go to sleep. And then you just open it and it will come right back to life. So uh, it's a smart case. And now we're going to do the infamous shake test. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and shake it real quick. As you can see, I'm shaking it pretty hard. I will be honest though, when I first put the iPad in there, I turned it over and the top right hand corner slipped out. So I, I made sure I pressed it down in and I did the shake test and it passed. And there you have it, my Portenzo Levant Moleskin or Moleskin, however you want to pronounce it, bookcase for my iPad 2. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you watching my videos. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment below. And also, don't forget to check back. I've got a 23 and a half, also from Potenzo. It's a white leather case, and I'm going to review in that. And here's a sneak peek. So thanks for watching.